It was recently announced that Osmel Sousa will be welcomed into the Miss Universe family. Let's talk about this. Please don't forget if you love the channel and you want to support it to check out memberships for access to exclusive episodes. Ola.com reported about the Czar of Beauty and this announcement. They stated that the revelation was unveiled during an episode of Telemundo's La Mesa Caliente, during which Rosha Cantu expressed his elation at welcoming Osmel Sousa into the Miss Universe family. The former president of Miss Venezuela, celebrated for his astute discernment of beauty queens, is poised to play a pivotal role in shaping the pageant's future trajectory. When queried about his forthcoming responsibilities, Sousa affirmed his commitment to fulfilling the directives of the co-owner of the pageant. Rosha Cantu expressed his admiration for Sousa's expertise and conveyed his satisfaction at securing him for this significant role within the organization. So far, it doesn't sound like we've heard an official announcement of Osmel Sousa's job title at the Miss Universe organization, so I'm very curious about what his actual role will be in the organization. Ola.com continued their interview, which stated, the conversation naturally turned to inclusivity within the Miss Universe competition and how future editions would incorporate these evolving societal norms. In response, Sousa underscored the timeless essence of beauty, asserting, those laws may be current, but I always say, all women with all the differences that exist now, but beautiful. Sousa worked in the Miss Venezuela organization for almost 40 years, and he was credited with success for the organization because he had six Miss Universe title holders during his time there, and then other international wins for Venezuela. If you've never heard of Osmo Sousa and you're wondering why people are talking about him being hired by the Miss Universe organization, it's because he has been a very polarizing figure in pageantry for many years, regardless of his success. MamasLatinas.com shared, According to Efecto Cocuyo, a contestant must spend around 32000 to be able to compete at Miss Venezuela. This is a crazy amount of money anywhere, but even more in a country where the monthly minimum wage is $31. Efecto Cocuyo posted an investigative piece about the reality of the Miss Venezuela organization titled Mrs. y Santos, meaning Mrs. and Saints, a beauty organization where saints perform miracles. Efecto Cocuyo says that about 30% of Miss Venezuela's contestants are sponsored by saints, a term they use to describe wealthy men who finance the beauty queens. In exchange, these ladies become their companions. According to Venezuelan reports, many of those men are part of the government or in business with the Chavista Maduro regime. Several former contestants have come forward and shared their stories of meeting with these men. According to different reports, Sousa was well aware of the situation and in some cases was a broker of the relationship between the girls and the saints. Miss Venezuela 2013, Migbeliz Castellanos explained how Sousa suggested that she met with a man who paid for one of the handbags she took to the Miss Universe pageant. Sousa dismissed the whole thing saying that he would be a millionaire if he was in the prostitution business because quote unquote, he has the best women in the world. Osmo Sousa left the Miss Universe organization in 2018. After that, he began working with contestants in Argentina for the Miss Universe Argentina organization. The New York Times even reported that some of those former contestants say Mr. Sousa or his assistants pressured them to act as escorts or concubines for politicians and businessmen in exchange for money to finance their pageant runs. Mr. Sousa has also been accused of being paid by the men for his role in arranging these transactions. In addition to these allegations, there's also a mini documentary called How to Be Beautiful in Venezuela from 2002, and you can watch this for yourself on YouTube. I can link it in the description below. It's a dive into the Miss Universe Venezuela organization, and there are interviews from former title holders, contestants, and Osmel himself. In this documentary, Osmel defines what he sees as beautiful. He shares that he believes plastic surgery is simply permanent makeup, and that, quote, the problem with short women is that usually a short woman's body is not harmonious. And 
When asked why so many white girls win Miss Venezuela in a country where so many women are dark skinned, he said, black Venezuelans aren't pretty. If a pretty black woman came here, she would be in the competition. I get really envious when I go to Colombia and I see attractive black women, but the blacks here aren't beautiful. And because they aren't beautiful, they can't enter the competition. So to bring things full circle, you can understand why they were asking Osmel about inclusivity in the Miss Universe organization because he has previously shared these sentiments online. As I stated earlier, I haven't been able to find precise information identifying his exact role within the organization, but as you can see from this video, it's clear why he has been a very polarizing figure within pageantry. We have very limited information about what exactly Osmo Sousa's involvement will look like within the Miss Universe organization. But as you can see from his previous statements, there are many people that are concerned and have very polarizing views about him working within the international organization. But I'm also very curious to hear what your thoughts are as well on Osmal Sousa's new job at Miss Universe or if maybe you know more about what his role will entail. Thank you for tuning into this episode. Please stay up to date with my other recent pageant recaps and prediction episodes. I can link some of them right here in the corner for you. I appreciate you so much for supporting the channel and for joining me. I hope to see you very soon.